that which has been is what will be, that which is done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which it may be said, See, this is new? It has already been in ancient times before us. Every religion claims our book, all the other books of the other religions, they humans wrote them. But our book, no, 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 no. It came from some superhuman intelligence. In a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct. Just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI. That could be a reality in a few years. The enemy is showing his hand each and every day, and the powers that be are using technology like artificial intelligence to do the enemy's bidding. Now, do they know this? Some yes, some no. Mostly no. They are following the pattern of the world, and the world naturally over time wants to do the same thing over and over again, and that is to cultivate, to get everyone to think alike, and then take over. That's really all globalism is. If you don't think like them, then you're an outcast, which is what we're going to be going over today. We're going to be looking over a Jewish man by the name of Yuval Harari, and ironically, his middle name is Noah. He is really close with Klaus Schwab. He is close with the World Economic Forum. Yuval is also the one with the famous quote, God is dead. It's just taking time to get rid of the body. And as Christians, we ought to know this. We make up the body. I find it no mistake that he said that. Does he know he said it like that? Probably not. But that is what makes up the body of Christ. It's the Christians. Because God doesn't have a physical body other than, well, Christ Jesus. But he's in heaven at the right hand of the Father. We are what's left. The church is what's left. He wants to get rid of the church. But I'm going to show you guys that there is no new thing happening right now. It is the same yesterday, today, and always. As old as the dawn of time, there have been a select handful of humans on earth that has always tried to take over the world. And because we're in the last hour, it is the spirit of the Antichrist. If I could get you guys to do one thing for me, and that is like this video, if you do like it, uh, comment because it does help this AI algorithm. And um, subscribe to the channel if you would like to. I would greatly appreciate it. We're growing pretty rapidly. I had a God Trips Oprah video start going freaking nuts over a week ago. It has hit 1 million views. Praise God for that. That is freaking awesome. So follow along with me as we react to this video together. I have not watched this uh, through its entirety, but I am looking forward to seeing what it has to say. Because Yuval is up to some very interesting things when it comes to the one world religion. First, in case you don't know who Yuval Noah Harari is, I'll play a couple clips for you so you get an idea. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. I mean, all this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. Every religion claims our book, all the other books of the other religions, they humans wrote them. But our book, no, 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 no. It came from some superhuman intelligence. In a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct, that just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI. That could be a reality in a few years. You don't necessarily have to cancel something in order to replace it. I mean, after all, we do have progressive Christianity, which is not Christianity. But once this new Bible is created by this artificial intelligence, then we could find ourselves having the real Bible be this thing of the past. It is the old way of thinking. That is the old God. It is dead. That church that is associated with it is dead. Now, artificial intelligence truly could create a new religion, and it could really fall into play with end times Bible prophecy. In Revelation 17, it talks about the great harlot in the end times. The term harlot in the Old Testament is a metaphor for false religion. And we know in the end times there will be a one world religion that will be taking place. In Revelation 17, it tells us, Then he said to me, The waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. We are in a wheel within a wheel within a wheel. Things will continue having its seasons, the four seasons of the year and it'll come back around again. And God is patient, wishing no one to perish, but to save as many people as possible. 
And with that, let's go ahead and jump to the scriptures and the tongues that happened at the Tower of Babel. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. But what was that thing that you've all said about us becoming gods? We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. What you are seeing here is the king of Babylon falling. As we know, pride comes before the fall. And speaking of pride, I do find it interesting that the pride flag has six colors, which six is the number of man, and God's rainbow has seven colors, which is God's number, the day of rest. But more on that in another video. Okay, so you don't believe in God. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the word is problematic. There are two kinds of gods. It's also not very popular within India to say that the term God is problematic. They are an inclusive religion. They believe in many, many gods. So for Yuval to come in here and say what he's saying, yeah, people are not going to be a fan of that very much. The chief characteristic of this God is that he is mysterious and humans can't understand and can't say anything about this God. We know nothing about him or her or it, and I'm perfectly happy with this God. So a God we cannot relate to. He's fine with that kind of God. Then there is a completely opposite kind of God, the concrete lawgiver God. And about this God, we know far too much. We know exactly what this God thinks about female fashion. <laughs> about human sexuality, about who should you vote on election, everything. So he rejects the kind of God that has certain standards. Got it. Is this the purpose of life? The deep source of so much of our personal and collective problems is in the fantasies that we create and then we mistake them from reality for reality and then we try to impose them on reality and we get extremely upset when it doesn't work. So you know the whole famous your truth versus my truth argument in today's time, although truth is not supposed to be subjective, the, the truth is that there is no your truth or my truth. There is God's truth and then we abide by that. You get rid of God and then you get to follow a whole nother truth. And AI can be programmed, by the way. It, you can set up certain guidelines. So AI can be manipulated. There are fail safes you can build into these algorithms to keep it from leaning to left or to right or whatever you do or don't want it to do. So essentially, these people want to create their own truth and they don't want you to follow any other version of the truth. In other words, uh, this dude is not just a problem for Christians. He's going to be a problem for anybody who doesn't want to think like him. Who's intolerant now? And guys, we're going to go ahead and switch over to one more verse I want to share with you because I find it very important in today's time. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. We don't want to follow too closely in the footsteps of the right, 
because the right will accept just about anybody. As far as Donald Trump goes, I hope and pray that he continues following Christ. I believe that to an extent he is, but I don't think he's quite there yet. He has quite a bit of work to do. So don't follow too much to the right. They're going through their own red pill moment right now and definitely stay the hell away from the left because they're trying to erase history. <laughs> so I will see you on the next video. Take care and God bless.